Okay, for the, fir the first thing we do for this laser alignment is to make sure that the, that, that the chamber itself is in a position where the laser comes uh, perfectly uh, pa uh, parallel with the uh, illumination axis. And you can see if, if you move the whole thing back and forth how far out it can go. So the trick is to find that place where the light sheet inside the chamber is coming out completely parallel with the objective. Right about there. And I lock it down there. So here we see the uh, imaging chamber and uh, what you see directly in front of you here is the uh, detection lens and here's the illumination lens um, and we have this sample here and the sample has a mirror at the tip and a grid above the above the mirror and we're going to put it in the, the direction of the uh, so it faces the, 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 the detection camera like so now we have to move it and find the uh, and find this sample via micromanager. This thing in the okay, no, I'm just for a couple of seconds. Just go ahead. So we're going to put this uh, sample in front of the objective, like so. And we'll put it into focus with the uh, with the detection axis to the, uh, on the camera in the next step. Okay, go ahead. And here we have. Uh, the sample almost in focus. We're going to bring it into focus on the on a grid on some kind of structured order pattern, and make sure that it's in focus really really well. Say here. Okay. So this sample has a grid on one part and a, and a mirrored uh, uh, surface on another. So what we're going to do is uh, tilt, the, tilt the angle towards the illumination uh, objective so that, it, so that the laser will bounce off the, the mirror structure and the grid into the camera. So it has to go 45 degrees. And what we're going to do is um, go 45 degrees to the point where it's now turned in a way that we're facing the camera. And we have to find the, the, the Z position and actually have to find the whole sample back again. Cancel this. That's yeah, okay, just keep going. I'm okay, just cut it. Where the hell is it? Like so. Okay. So we rotate the sample 45 degrees towards the camera and the objective axis. So both, yeah. Just go ahead. <coughs> so here we take out the emission filter and we put in an MD filter. Let's just do it. So here we have this cylindrical lens in a horizontal fashion, roughly horizontal. We have this mirror that is in a conjugate plane to the back plane of this objective here, and uh, using this telescope. So this is what images the focal plane on the uh, the back focal plane on the on the mirror. So what we need we need to focus the telescope with this. With this lens here, we'll call it the uh, second lens, um, we need to focus it so that we get the sharpest image of the laser. We'll show you this in, in, a, in a few moments on the, on the next sample. So uh, the trick is to 
we usually I usually use a pencil with an eraser because you can kind of roll it in a weird way. Uh, so I use that to roll very very ever so slightly the lens back and forth. to find the, the, the right place. It's Damn, this is not working very well. Huh? And when you find it, you lock it down. So we use this this screw here to uh, adjust where the where the light sheet. Uh, enters the, ap uh, the aperture of the objective so you can pretty much uh, adjust it um, in a way that you, you bring it into focus with the grid that you have in focus in the sample. So uh, here's the uh, cylindrical lens and you want to make sure that it is in a horizontal fashion on the mirror here. So the the laser light's coming from this this direction through the lens and it gets focused on this on this mirror. And you can pretty much adjust how that goes in there. As here, for instance, you see it's at around 45 degrees or so, uh, even almost vertical. And I'm going to put it back to horizontal. And you want to make sure that it's pretty good, um, pretty pretty horizontal there. Uh, and you can look at other other elements. For instance, the back side of this uh, vertical slit you'll see the reflection and you want to have that horizontal. This is how I'm doing it. It's much easier to see from this angle. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Fine. And then you can so you have to turn on the laser more? To but you're not oversaturated, otherwise you don't see the right. We could just do it here. No, we can do it here. No, I can do it faster. Here. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Two down, 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 down. More like that, right? I mean, I, I I wouldn't do the I wouldn't do the thickness thing on the grid. I'd do it on the mirror. Okay. So what you can show here is to bring, yeah, to do the rotation, to do it exactly on the on the spot, so you weren't focused on this exactly one right here. Exactly, those ones here. Yeah. So maybe I mean you can just point to the make sure that um, the light sheet hits all. The spots on the grid right, to make sure yeah. that the focal plane is. Uh, it might be a bit confusing in the first place. We'll have to cut at it this like crazy. Yeah. Okay. Make sure to put it back in the center of the of the mirror. Mm -hmm.
using not this but uh, the motors. Points on the on the spots. 